So our next speaker um, will be Dinesh Chohan, and I would like to ask uh, Dr. Shankaran to introduce Dinesh. So in this flowering, what I observed is that the different homeopaths kind of specialized in the different areas of this approach. Am I right? Would you agree like this? And uh, what Dinesh, I think, specialized in was the case taking uh, techniques you can say. And he has excelled in this, I must say. He has really excelled. And his last book, what is it called? The Right Brain Approach. Right Brain Approach. I read it actually. Means not detail, but yes. What you have given is various approaches, whether it is, you know, how you can um, go into the depth. Because many times, you know, patients are not ready for that. They kind of block you also. No, that's it, you know. How are you? How is your anger? Anger is anger, you know. I feel angry, that's it. Isn't it? You, you must have seen like this or no. Yeah. But there are techniques and ways in which you can kind of sidestep that and in a way go deeper, much, much deeper. So we can use many techniques and Dinesh, if I was to introduce him, I would say he has specialized in this aspect. So different people and Dinesh did excellent work in, and he's a very good teacher. He takes the people with him and uh, as we will see today. This means a lot to me because I started this journey with him. So, and all what, you know, this whole, uh, you will see in my presentation, you'll see how I blend what he taught me and what my other teacher taught me. <laughs> Let's come to autoimmune disorder. If, now here, I'm talking about multidimensional approach. Yeah. So the one approach is, of course, the holistic sensation, miasm, beautiful. One approach is whole plus rubrics, mental, general, particular, which Massimo selects beautifully and put. One approach is whole plus thematic, what Yak Shorten and others would put it, you know, the themes wise. One approach is looking at the whole and looking at the disease perspective. Looking at the, you know, exact sphere of action perspective will be better. Now, since we are discussing autoimmune disorder, we know, right, uh, she, uh, Anna has spoken in initially about it. We know innate immunity and adaptive immunity. We know in innate immunity, the cells called phagocytic cells, as simple that it's a basic approach, fixed approach, just, you know. Fixed program, program to kill. Simple words. We know phagocytes are there. We know there are eight, nine types of cells are there. From macrocytes to, you know, mass cell, mass cell to eosinophils. Can I not look from this perspective and study my remedies? Yeah. For example, in which book? In homeopathic book, it's written for phagocyte. Now, see, you see, we, our approach needs to be changed from, if you look from there, for example, so phagocytes, which is all the cells, yeah? You read vanadium from Fatak, increase and stimulate phagocytes. Of course, there are many other remedies, time being, I'm not going there. Now, if I read the same remedy from modern research perspective, that it helps in regulation of B cell and T cell, overall cytokines like interleukins, including 2, 4, 6, 10, it works on it. 
and the difficult the different combination of this either asthma or rheumatism or comes into picture making sense <laughs> we started with we started with t cell specialization remember and you know t cell are programmed fixed till uh, you know it's in a way fixed approach and b cell not only they work in coordination with all not only they produce antibodies they also leave a memory behind yeah so that tomorrow the similar comes we can treat accordingly so uh, if you ask me that do we need t cell specialization or b cell specialization yeah i would say both you know <laughs> like this don't just be a t cell or a b cell be a tb cell you know in a way specialist where you handle it well yeah thank you so much dinesh uh, for this big scope of uh, knowledge um <laughs>